Okay, this is test one, and this is net radar only. This is for Choose Life, so he doesn't null and void the test. Okay, let's see. Net radar DSP. We can. Okay. A little bit better than before. Okay, test two. This is the unit in R3 only. The R3 only. It picked up way immediately, way before. Way before. Let's see if it does it again. Got a sniff pretty early. Let's see. Wow, it's not even on it. Oh, there we go. Kill zone. Okay, test three. I'm doing both at the same time. Sorry, Choose Life. And I started further away, just in case the R3 has a little bit further to, to uh, sniff here. Let's see what happens. I would say within about 100 feet, 150 feet. All right, running all three this time, Max 360, the R3, and the DSP. Starting much further back, I started a full mile and a half. See if any one of them sniff it out. Kill zone. Let's see which one lasts the longest going away. The net radar head is the old one. Let's see which one lasts the longest. I am driving away from the gun. R3 dropped out, and there went the Max 360, Behind. and the net radar is still detecting. Okay, I know for a fact that's as far as it will go. Wow, in this test, I have the gun at an angle, it's not pointing down the road. And it looks like the net radar got a sniff early. Let's see. This, the gun is not pointing directly down the road this time. It's at about a 45 degree angle off into the woods. We are now in the kill zone. The old kill zone. And it looks like uh, both of them are detecting it. Nothing from the Max 360, imagine that. Oh, there's the Max finally catching up. Okay. I'm going to film all the way to the source for you guys. Sorry it's such a long video.
right next to my son. Okay. My install. from the outside.